Well, it's the end of summer weekend that makes us all feel like a kid again. The Chicago Air and Water Show returns to the lakefront tomorrow. But the aircrafts have already come roaring in to rehearse. It's so cool even just to see them rehearse and practice and for the show. It. Oh, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. CBS News at Salar's Eye live at North Avenue Beach talking to some people who pull this incredible show off every year. So it's been really cool to hear some of your interviews this morning and people who are behind the scenes and in these aircraft. Yeah, absolutely, Audrina, and I really look forward to this every year. Obviously, growing up in Chicago, you really look forward to this. This is a staple in the summertime, and if you were in the city yesterday, you could hear them uh, roaring across the skies even yesterday. Today, it'll be even louder. Uh, this morning, I have Herb Hunter with me. He is the announcer, the guy who really runs a lot of the show here. Herb, we were just talking. You've been doing this for 45 years. 45 years ago, I flew in it for the first time, and I've been the announcer since 1988. Let me see. That's 36 years, so it's been a long time. Well, we're so happy to have you, and I know Thank a you. lot of people uh, look forward to seeing you and being a part of the show. Tell me, what can we expect this year? A lot to look forward to. Well, it's going to be great weather, for one thing. And, you know, no matter how hard the city works to put together the show, you can't buy weather. It is what it is. This weekend, it's going to be great. So you got Thunderbirds back in town. It's uh, interesting because the Thunderbirds were the first jet team to ever fly this show back in 1961. So the show was for the kids then. It's for the kids now. And we got a lot of great airplanes, big and small. My KC 135, the C 17 demo. But I love smoke and noise, and we got Susan Dacey and her super stairman, so that's going to be great too. And, you know, I was talking to uh, Dave earlier yeah. this morning, and he was saying that the Thunderbirds actually haven't been here since 2018, so they're back right. again this year. Right, they're back. You know, it's sort of a scheduling thing, and when COVID came along, it sort of messed up the schedule, but it's great to have the Thunderbirds back. And, you know, that's uh, it's a new team, so looking forward to some new stuff. It's going to be great. And, you know, you mentioned COVID, uh, Herb, you know, that is in the rear view now. And right. I think we're going to see such a good turnout this year, especially because of the weather and some new things we have in store. A lot of people coming out. A lot of people coming out. And I have one recommendation. Come early, plan to stay late, use public transportation. They'll have a great time. Bring the family. And when you come to an air show, everybody turns into a kid. Adults or kids when they're watching airplanes. So. I love that. Or thank you so much for thank taking you. the time to talk to us this Great. morning. Such a pleasure as always. And you heard him say, you got to come prepared. Bring that sunscreen. Bring those chairs. The kids are going to love it. The weather expected to be just perfect this weekend. Of rehearsals starting this morning at about 1030 and we will go till about 3 p.m. this afternoon. I'm live at North Avenue Beach. Asalt Rezai, CBS 2 News.